Just got to church. It's uh, just a few minutes before six, so time to unload the storage unit and trailer and our car and get ready for a great day. Setting up the lobby. Setting up the lobby. Here's Tim and all night, guys. Nina's back. <laughs> Woo! Hey, hey, hey. Dawn every week makes it happen. <laughs> Got her. Got her pictures. We are good. So we went from empty lobby. We're getting there. We're not. We're not quite done. But we're moving along. Rhea, you'd be proud. Get well. Yeah, get well. Sorry, you have strap. That really stinks. And over here, we're getting our growth track stuff set up. Boom. a safe place for kids when that family's going through hardship. That hardship could be something as big as being homeless or as big as not having a job or it could be addiction that's just very, very hard to get out of that cycle of addiction. So what we do is we're a safe place for kids to go to. We, we allow people in the community the offer, we allow them the ability to call us and place their kid in a safe place so they can have the time and the resources to get back on their feet. So it's kind of confusing, so I'll start with a little analogy. So there's three friends and they walk up to this river. And in this river they see it's raging and there's kids going down and they're going towards a waterfall. So the first friend, all he knows how to do is he just runs and he jumps and he starts grabbing as many kids as possible. And then the second friend sees that waterfall, so he runs down to the waterfall and he starts catching them before they go. And the third friend says, hey, why are there kids in the water? So he runs upstream and he stops kids from ever jumping into the water. So that first friend, you know, it's something we're very familiar with. It's intervention, intervening with kids that are in the raging river. That's like foster care, like we think of foster care adoption. Kids are already in the river and they're helping these kids in the river. And you know what, if you want to come see me after church, I can tell you more about foster care and I can get you connected with the folks at Christian Family Care. And that second friend who's trying to get kids before they fall off, they're trying to do that because we know at age 18, if a kid has been in foster care his whole life, when they turn 18, things do not get better. So they're trying to help these kids when they age out. If you want to know more information about that, I would check out the Phoenix Dream Center or Homeless Youth Connection. But they're not safe families, we're over here. We're trying to prevent kids from ever getting into the river to begin with. We're trying to prevent neglect abuse that ultimately leads to foster care. And we're also trying to provide support systems for those families in crisis. So it's not a cycle that goes on and on and on. So what we do is we, we connect with the local church because who better than the local church to help families in crisis? There's no one better. We were created to do this. So what we do in two, if you want to take what we do into two things, it's like four slides down. We redeem parents and we love kids. 
We love kids by opening up our homes and they become part of our family. It could be for a day, for a year. Usually it's right around 20 days. Just long enough for the family to get the train back on the track, allow the smoke to clear, and they're heading in the right direction. They're probably not at their destination yet, but they're on the track and they're heading that way. And we redeem the parents by working with them one-on-one. -on -one. If they need to find a house, we help them find a house. If they need to learn how to get ride the bus system, we help them with that. If, if they're struggling with addiction, that's where we help them. So just imagine this. Imagine being a young mother with two kids and you lost your job. And now a month has passed and guess what? There's someone knocking on the door saying, hey, rent's due, rent's due. And you can't have, you don't have rent. So you get kicked out. Now you're living on the street with your kids and you realize, you realize that the only option you have is to go and put them up for adoption. But then you're in this despair and you're like, this is my only option. But imagine that same person finding out that, hey, that's not your only option. There's a local church that will help you through this crisis. They'll take your kids, they'll help you find a job, help you get back on your feet. That's what we do. That's what we're all about, is trying to help families get back on their feet. And, and I'll end with this, the story of a girl named Karen. She, her parents were missionaries and she grew up on the mission field. And then she came back to the States, she found the love of her life. They had three beautiful daughters. And then as they got older, things happened. The husband decided this wasn't the life he wanted, so he left. And then to cope, the mom started doing drugs. And soon it got really bad and their lives just kept swirling and swirling down. So what happened is they got to the end of their rope and what they were able to do is get, they called the Phoenix Rescue Mission, which is a, a, ho a homeless shelter that helps women who are in addiction. And they said, hey, you can come in, but we don't take your kids. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna connect you to a program called Safe Families. So we were able to work with this mom, take her kids, so she could get into this program that would change her life forever. And, and that's what we do. We're changing lives. So I'm gonna be outside after church. Come by, sign up for some more information, ask some questions, grab a bookmark. On the back has ways for our pray, to pray for us. We'd love to talk with you. Thank you. I'm a struggle someday that you can't get by on your own and you will look to a group of people in your collect group that will help you make it through. Good. And I believe that this was made for you. I believe that it's time that we become comfortable in admitting what our addictions are. Let me get spiritual for just a moment. Jada threw up last night, so we're missing church today. We're just home in our pajamas, <laughs> chilling out, watching Sophia the first. So he's eating some toast. And we're just gonna relax. <laughs> this is a puppy. Adina. She's really cute. This isn't good. Seems to be feeling better this morning. Need some toast. So hopefully the vomiting was very short-lived. Judah is downstairs watching a movie. Mommy is tackling this laundry mountain. So the girls are playing a match game. And these are really fun pictures that Melissa got us from Shutterfly. No, no, I have They're pictures of our family and there's two of each so the girls can play a match game with them. <laughs> While they're watching Sophia. Of course. Always Sophia. Playing a little match game with Miss Adina. There's Mama's pile. Christina's pile. She's doing pretty well. Yeah. Uh, 
Okay, your turn again. We've got five cards left, which means something doesn't have a match. At least one. <gasps> Marina. 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 Good job. Marina. Yep, you got it. Okay, go again. Adina, go again. Doubloons and doubloons. Yay! You got the last match. Izzy doesn't have a match. Yeah. All right, you want to count your cards? Let's see how many you have. One, two, three, four. So you got 14 matches. And I High got five. one. That's awesome. Let's see how many matches Mommy got. I won a Uber. <laughs> Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, oops, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen matches. So mommy got more than you. It got what too. Yeah, we did good. High five. Nice job. It's ramen for lunch today. What? And Sophia. Mm -mm. Always Sophia. <laughs> they always turn it on. I don't have to watch them. They do always turn it on, don't they? When the boys get home, I get to watch whatever I like. <laughs> well, when the girls go to bed, you can watch whatever you want. I thought you said when the boys get home. No, I said when they go to bed. Because they're going to go lay down for a nap after lunch. And I'm going to get home. Sure. Mm, in a while. Is it good, ladies? Mm -hmm. Yummy. You like noodles? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'll do it. Come on, Dina, time. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. night time. I'll be time. You really do? No. no. I want to get my room. I want to get your room after you get out, baby. Come on. No. Yes. No. Would you like to walk upstairs or would you like to be carried? I want to go in my room. If that wasn't one of your options, would you like to walk or be carried? <laughs> I want to go in my room. Okay, I guess you chose to be carried. <laughs> Cheetah's sick day TV pick. Welcome to Kid Burger, home of the Kid Burger. Can I take your order? <laughs> that is one small car. Interesting. We're at in and out I can drive that Gone car. through the drive through I'm uh, going to get Josiah and Luke something. I'll go home and eat. I but uh, they were so good at church and busted their rumps to get stuff set up and torn down. So I appreciate that. And their reward is a little in and out. Not really and. In, in, out. So good. Wish I were eating it. How are you? Doing well, thank you. Awesome, you're welcome. What can I get started for you? Yeah, can I get a number one uh, plain, and instead of a uh, drink, can I get a strawberry shake? A number one plain, just meat, cheese, and bun, and a strawberry shake in place of a drink? Yep. Okay. And then a number two with no onion, and also a strawberry shake instead of a drink? A number two without onion, and a strawberry shake as well? Yep. Okay. Look at that. They got their in and out. Boom. Double, double. Luke, got your yeah. right there. Yeah. Got their strawberry shakes. Got a little bonus for all their hard work. Look at that. Yum, yum. So yummy. Sometimes you gotta well, clean up the toy box. Unfortunately, it did not yield us the Amazon Fire Remote. Look what Mama found. Yeah. My seconds. Seconds. All sorts of toys that we don't need. Or the girls don't need, huh? Should we give these all away? No! I want them. How about some of them away? The kids who don't have a toys. No. That sounds like a good idea to me. Introduce you to DJ Carol. 
It's my new look. Just be here all hey. weekend long. That was short lived. Well, okay. she'll be here for, was here for two seconds. What are we eating today? Well, the children are eating the hamburger helper. Sounds good. And they get ramen for lunch, so please don't judge me. It's been a long weekend. The kids start growing up. All bets go out the window. You do what you can. Yeah. But they like it, so. I, it's six o'clock and I just took an hour and a half nap and I'm ready to sleep again. <laughs> oh, well we made it. Survived the day. Yeah, it's been a long, long night and day. Uh, Judah got up at, I don't know, one o'clock and threw up on the floor. Yeah, all over and the blankets and rug and it was something Gross. special <laughs> and uh got up just before five to go to church and got home around 2 30 but uh it was a good day had a great time at church loved hearing about uh, what pastor cody shared about safe families and the work that they're doing there and so just thankful that uh, we're a part of a church that supports families believes in in getting involved in the community so that's great Carol was at home with uh, the girls and with Judah today. You saw a little bit of that action. How was that? Uh, it was fine. It was fine. A lot of Sophia. <laughs> a lot of Sophia the first. That show. But oh, I did get a little I bit of a it. nap while Judah watched Good Burger. Oh, that's good. I'm not into Good Burger. I literally, honestly. I fell asleep. Carol was cleaning out the toy box. I fell asleep <laughs> on Zoe's bed for an hour and a half. I was just exhausted. So, good day. And uh, I'm going to watch some Elementary now on Hulu. I'm into that show now in season two. Carol watches it every now and again with me. I usually fall asleep. Not because it's a bad show, but because good. I'm tired. It's good. <laughs> so, peace out. And uh, we will see you tomorrow on Monday. going to be taking the kids to go watch a movie and do some other stuff. So, we'll show you a little bit of that. Bye. Bye. See ya.